If I want to have a fundamental difference between you know, humans and digital computers that is grounded in currently known physics, then, then, then there seems like, like only one that I can think of, and that is that digital computers, uh, as, as we have created them, right, run programs that are, that are just pure classical information that can be copied, okay, uh, that can be backed up, uh, that can always be rewound to an earlier state. If you don't like the answer that ChatGPT gives you, right, you can always just feed it the same prompt, right? Just like try again from the same initial condition mm -hmm. and, and, and see what it would do differently, right? If you feel like, uh, uh, you know, GPT has now gotten a bad impression of you from, from, from your conversation, you can wipe the slate clean. Right. You, you know, like I'm sure so many people wish that they could have done that with other people, maybe when they're on a date or something. Right. But, you know, we can't do that with people. Right. People, you know, seem to be running on this noisy analog hardware. OK. Which is uh, not, you know, copyable, at least with any currently known technology, uh, which is not back upable, which is not rewindable to earlier states. And that gives us a kind of ephemerality that AIs don't have. Now, you might say that, that you know, this is not an advantage to our side, right? This j merely makes us more frail, right? Yeah. More limited compared, yeah. to, compared to the machines. And so that seems like cold comfort. But, you know, in, in a way, it also makes our choices more meaningful, right? Because we only get one chance to make them and mm. then there's no going back, right? With an a AI that, you know, you could be running in, you know, a thousand different copies or you could be trying again and again from the same initial condition. If you ask GPT to write a poem, right? It's never really committed to anything because if you don't like that poem, it could generate 50 more mm. from the same probability distribution, right? Whereas Shakespeare, right? We're never going to get Shakespeare to, to uh, try again at writing his plays, right? The ones he wrote are the ones he wrote. So it gives human decisions, you know, a kind of permanence or significance to them that I think AIs, just because of their, their clone ability and their rewind ability, are never really going to have. Mm -hmm. And that's, that, that's certainly a difference that's going to be very important in practice. Now, is it more than that? Is it, you know, is this actually a hint of a more metaphysical difference? Should we speculate that consciousness can only inhere in systems that are fundamentally unclonable, let's say. You know, I'm willing to entertain that speculation.